Meet Leo! No, not Leonardo DiCaprio or Leonardo the Ninja Turtle. This year is the Leo the Robot. A brand new fighting robot that is made out of carbon fiber, aluminum, and 3D printed parts. Meaning it is fully agile. So what's unique about this robot is that it's got a lot of different fight combos which I'm really excited to show you. In which it's the first one in the United States. So it can fight, it can do different punches, it can do uppercuts, it can even twist as well as get up. So you don't believe me? Check out this montage. Roll it. So this here is our robot and it's actually a very interesting design just because it's made out of a lot of carbon fiber parts making it very lightweight as well as very agile. Now you also notice that there's some 3D printed parts as well. For instance the head is 3D printed as well as the hands. So you can go ahead and lift it off just like this and you can go ahead and like print your own helmets. Which is also great just in case if it does get damaged you can always reprint out parts as well. Now besides that there's some aluminum parts on here making it a little bit more durable. Even the servos are very strong and can take a lot of abuse. Now it does come with a PS2 or <clears throat> A PS2 Lite controller with almost like a battery pack attached to it. And it's got an on-off switch in the back here, so you just need an uh, NIMH battery. Just go ahead and put that in there. And then in terms of this one here, you do need a LiPo battery. Uh, so it just goes kind of mounts on the back here and just go ahead and connect it. There's no on-off switch, just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and boot up this guy and see how he works. So we're just going to go ahead and connect it just like that. Okay. And then from there, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our remote and then just toggle it just like that and then hit start. Whoa! <laughs> uh, so this is his ruddy stance. Uh, so if I just go ahead and hit up, he'll go ahead and start moving. <laughs> so using the analog controls, if we move the joystick to the left, he'll move left. If we move the joystick to the right, he'll move right. And then if you just move the right joystick, he'll hop. So you can go ahead and rotate them based on what direction. Now if you want him to walk forward, you move the joystick up. And if you want to make him walk backwards, you hit it back. So it gives you the full functionality in terms of controls go. Now in terms of like attack moves, we have a few different ones here. So this here is square. Oh! So it's like a jab. Oh! I think it's do it from this angle, look at that. Alright. Uh, and then this here is circle. Whoa! So he kind of like charges and he does like a punch. Let's do that again. Ready? Now that's pretty intense. Alright, so this here is X. It's an uppercut for the right fist. You can see it from the side angle. And then this here is square. So it's another jab. And then we have ourselves triangle, which does a right uppercut just like that. Alright? Uh, so it kind of gives you functionality in terms of those kind of moves. So you get a lot of different variety of combinations. Now in terms of the top triggers, if the robot falls on its front just like this, you hit R2. And he gets right back up. And if he falls on his back, you hit L2. And he's right back up again. So besides that, there's some other combo moves as well. So if you hold L1 and hit like up, He'll fall down and punch you and get back up. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's try that again. So L1 and up. All right, and then uh, L1 and R. So it's like a uh, wave. Well, there you have it. This year is Leo.
It's actually a great fighting robot. It literally comes with everything that you need in terms of fighting goes. So you get a variety of different combinations of attacks as well as the agile speed. Now, the only downside is the fact that it does come with a lot of light car like carbon fiber parts, as well as 3D printed parts, making it a little bit fragile. So you do have to constantly keep repairing it, be it screws or as I was printing parts. But really other than that, it's really not that bad. Now, it's actually a great robot and it's really appealing to look at. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But either way, be sure to subscribe for new videos. With that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.